final stretch of basketball. It's really shaping up to be a competitive championship tournament. I tell you, you look at Middle Tennessee, Western Kentucky, and Southern Miss. They are the top three teams right now on the ladies' side. Anybody can win the regular season title. But then you look at who follows them, there's like a game or two separating everybody in the loss column. But I want to talk about Western Kentucky because they are outstanding. First year of the conference for women's basketball. They are playing so well. They played Marshall. I had a chance to do the game. And Marshall comes out, they're shooting the ball well. And then all of a sudden, Chastity Gooch, Alexis Govan, all of a sudden they start kicking it in. But my favorite player was Kendall Noble, the little point guard. This is a young lady averages almost five assists a ball game. She makes the engine run. Now Gooch and Govan, they're getting all the publicity. But Kendall Noble, this this young lady is, is really the engine for this basketball team. And I think Western Kentucky, come tournament time, because of their depth, they're going to be difficult to beat. However, watch Southern Miss. Joy Lee McNellis has done an outstanding job again this year with that team. Well, and another game we have to point out would be the Middle Tennessee Rice game. Middle Tennessee getting that leg up over Rice. I'll tell you, you know, Rick Hensel, what, what's he do? He just keeps winning. Over a thousand wins when you look over his career. And he's got such a tradition there. And he bases it on fundamentals. Every time I spend, uh, every minute I spend with Rick, we always talk about fundamental basketball, passing, screening, blocking out, rebounding. And that's what makes him so good. And what also makes him so good, he recruits players at Middle Tennessee that are from winning programs. They understand what it takes to go to the next level. And I think with Middle Tennessee, the consistency, considering what they've lost from last year's team, the consistency they're showing this year, that's because Rick Ensel is an outstanding basketball coach and he recruits talented young ladies with great character, second to none. Now, Ron, taking a look at the standings, I mean, there's four teams within game of each other. Well, you look at the likelihood of Middle Tennessee, Western Kentucky, Southern Miss, they will probably have one of those four spots, obviously. But then UAB, Louisiana Tech, Old Dominion, UT, PSA. You could throw Marshall and, and Charlotte in there. All are within a couple of games of each other for that fourth and final playoff spot. But when I look at the standings, what stands out to me, UAB. They're only giving up 57 points a game. Coach Norton obviously has stressed defense ever since he's gotten there. Defense will win you games on the road because your offense is going to leave sometime. And right now, UAB, I think, might be in the driver's seat for that fourth spot and get that by because they're playing good basketball right now. Aside from obviously winning games, what is another key component as you know the final stretch of basketball continues? Staying healthy. You have to stay healthy. There are so many teams that are usually on the cusp of winning something and then they get a key player hurt or somebody off the bench gets hurt. So you've got to stay healthy and you have to stay focused because right now a lot of the freshmen are playing, they're hitting the wall because their high school season would probably be over right about now or at least in the state tournament. And a lot of the freshmen that are stars on teams, you're seeing their numbers kind of drop. They've got to get their second win. And I think if you've got a team that has a couple of young players, you got to keep pumping them up because this is a stretch run. You can't be tired. There's no time to be tired right now. You can be tired in April. Not now, though. No, there's certainly no time to be tired, especially if we take a look at, I mean, Conference USA's games this week on the women's side. We finally have that one and two matchup, Middle Tennessee and WKU. I tell you, that place is going to be rocking and rolling. Middle Tennessee has won the last 12 meetings between these two teams. I mean, think about how great these two teams are. They have combined for over 1,700 wins. That is incredible. Then you look at 28 regular season conference championships. You look at 34 NCAA tournament appearances. These are two elite teams, not just in Conference a, USA, forget about that, in all of college basketball. They have winning traditions, they have great fan support. Everybody's been waiting for this game, just like the men, about an hour and a half apart. That's gonna be a fun game, I wish I was there. I'll be doing the men's game, not the women's game, but it will be nationally televised, so that's gonna be fun to watch.